This is Dave Man Velado Odds. It is January 27th, 2023. Okay, I want to go over the new filters that we added to Lotto Odds. All right, so now if you... All right, so there's two sections we added um, on the prediction page, the new filters, which is this drop-down menu here. Okay, um, one thing I want to mention is utilize Chrome browser. It works better with Lotto Odds, and it's much faster. Safari tends to be slower. Okay, so anyway, um, here's the filters that we added. We put a scroll bar because uh, there's a lot of filters, and we tend to add, we're going to add a lot more filters on here to help you utilize this section here, right, to reduce the numbers, right, the patterns with the past winners, so you're able to identify the overdue uh, patterns, the patterns that are overdue. This is like a cheat sheet, right? You start with this, always start with this, to identify with the past winners what the overdue patterns are. You take that knowledge, overdue patterns, and then you come here and you utilize the actual filters to reduce the numbers, okay? Under more filters, we have more filters right there, okay? And we've added um, here eight pair digits, um, 64 pair digits, doubles, triples, two pair sums, okay? Eight pair digits. I'm going to go through up here because it's easy. You'll see it better. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start with uh, the doubles and triples. This is very simple. Isolate the doubles. Your doubles are isolated. Okay. Isolate triples. Your triples are isolated. Isolate triples and doubles. They're both isolated. Okay. So if you're a doubles player, you'll be able to see the patterns that are overdue. You'll be able to see what's overdue. And then digits, number of digits here, and all these patterns as well. Okay, and let's see what other filters we added. All right, so the two pair sums is basically two pair sums. Uh, ignore this right now because um, this is just cachet issue. It's going to straighten up in a little while. So if you see something like this, don't even worry about it. It's going to clear up with your cachet. You just clear up cachet. If you, if you don't know how to clear up cachet, it'll clear up on its own after a while. But this is the two pair of sums, and it allows you to reduce um, the two pair of sums based on what has already come out. For example, here, I'm going to take you down here. Two pair of sums. This is what the two pair of sums. They're all the two pairs. They're all the two pairs here. See the two pairs? That include the doubles and triples, okay? Um... When I say doubles and triples, something like that. Say zero, zero, and then if another zero comes out, that's a triple. Okay, zero, zero, one. Okay, if zero, zero, one comes out, that's a double. All right, so, and when I say sums, when I say two pair sums, that's exactly what it is. Zero, zero equals what? Zero. Zero, one equals one. Zero, two equals two. One, one. One plus one equals two. Three equals three. One plus two equals three. 4 equals 4, 3 plus 1 equals 4, 2 plus 2 equals 4. You got the drift. So all these two pairs equal these sums here from 0 to 18. And that is what this column is here. You see them coming out here, these sums, two pair sums. And that is what this filter is, two pair filters. So if you say, for example, you click that, it takes out the 7 there. You see that? All right, click it back, brings the seven back. All right, so pair of sums, you know what the pair of sums are right there, 64 pair of sums. These are the colors. Um, here, 64 pair of digits, okay? First column, second column, third column, okay? 64 pair of sums, 64 pair of sum digits here. First column, second column, third column, so two, two, See here, first column, 2-2. Two, two. You take that out, there, the green disappeared. See that? All right, so that's how you do it, to reduce the, these numbers here as well, patterns. Now, eight pair sums, you know, eight pair sums right there. Eight pair digits. Now, eight pair digits, you know what that is and stuff. We talked about that in the past. First digit, right here, 2-1-1, like that. 2-1-1 one, one in the red. Second digit is the white. See, 2-2-1. Two, two, 
So if you want to take out all the two one ones, because it's already one, two one one, just find it, two one one right there. Bap, you take it out right there. If you say, for example, you want to take out all the one ones in the last position right there, or or you want to take out the ones in the last, yeah second digit in the in the third column. See one one came out. You think it's not going to come out again? So you go take out the ones like that. Take out the ones at the end. Ones like that, like that, and I and I did the wrong one. Hold on, because this is the first digit. When I say first digit, it's the red. You know I should color this red. All right. Anyway, I'll change that later. So here, so this second digit meaning that. So one, you take out that. You take out that, like that. You know the ones. You take out that, that. Okay. So that's what that means. All right. So what else do we do? So that's pretty much here, right? So 64 pair of digits, eight pair of digits, two pair of sums. Okay, um, let's go through an example on this, okay? Florida, okay, look at Florida, right? Um, one thing I wanted to let you know, first of all, did I mention use Chrome? Use Chrome browsers faster on here? One thing I want to, another thing I want to let you know is you can definitely, this area with the past winners, it is going to uncover when the lotto agencies change the lotto balls or the computer algorithms. They will it will show up here. Okay. The patterns will start changing. Okay. You'll see it often. For example, if you look at Texas, right? Okay. All right, let's see. Here you go. If you look at Texas, right? In the past, you'd see like a lot of nines coming out, right? Nine, 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 nine coming out, coming out. Okay? Um, hold on. Right there. Look, look, look. Like here, look. Look at the nines coming out. Look at all these nines coming out, right? Back to back. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Back to back. Nines, nines, nines. Right? And then all of a sudden, they changed a lot of balls or computer algorithms. I'm not sure what they used back to, in Texas. But look, all of a sudden... The nines start coming out regularly. Stop coming out regularly. Yeah, see? Look. And then all of a sudden, the rare ones start coming out. 7, 10, 11. Look at that. 11's rare. Start hitting back to back. 7's start hitting back to back. 11, 7. See that? They definitely changed. So you know they changed. What do you do with that? You know what you do with that? This tells you don't go too far back. Don't go too far back like that because it definitely all the time changing either a lot of balls or computer algorithms because they know, they know that patterns are created, okay? They know patterns are created, okay? Mathematicians will tell you, oh, no patterns and this and that, BS. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. You know, they're so in the book knowledge that they don't know how to think outside of the box a lot of these mathematicians. But here in Lotto Odds, we prove them wrong. There are definitely patterns created, and a lot of agencies know this. That's why they constantly change lotto balls, lotto machines, or algorithms. But you know what? Lotto odds identifies it. And every time they change the algorithms or lotto balls, these patterns change. So what do you do? You go with the wind with the patterns. When you see something like this starting to come out, okay, then what you look at this. They shifted again. Look, after the nine started not coming out regularly, okay. See the sevens and everything? They shifted the, the lotto machines, the algorithms of the balls, and all of a sudden, now nines are starting to come out more. You see that? Sevens start coming out less, right there. So you play, you look at the patterns, recent patterns, and you'll say, okay, I think nines are gonna hit again. You see? And then look at this, nine hit again up here. Two, one, it was nine, 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 okay? And you say, you know what, the patterns are, the patterns are close. Look, 10 and 8 and 7. Look, 10 and 8 and 7. And it repeated. The pattern repeated. 10 and 8 and 7, then a 9. Look, 10, 8, 7, and a 9. They repeat. These patterns always repeat. Millions of people around America are choosing lottery numbers, addresses, birthdays out of the sky, and they never win. So the majority of them never win. And maybe they, a few of them may get wins here and there, okay? But we get them all the time because we know patterns. We know number patterns, okay? So if I took Florida, right, and I looked at Florida, 
and I'm looking at pattern, and I just keep it to recent patterns because I know they changed the balls or out computer algorithms. And I look at something like this. I look at something like this. Look. Excuse me. Hold on. I gotta fix this here. Keeps opening up these pages. Uh, here we go again. All right. Yeah, this is a bug I gotta fix. And when you tap it and you close it, it opens these up. Um, so I'm going to fix that. But if you look at this pattern here, look. You've got 8, 10, 9, and then 8, 7, 9. Okay, so what does it look at? 8, 10, 9, and then 8, 7, 9. I'm thinking a 10 is going to hit next, or an 8, 2, 2 is going to hit next. If I isolate... Pair sums, right? Right there, pair sums. Isolate the eight. Let's isolate the eight. We can see the patterns clearer. Isolation is important so you can see patterns clearer. So now I look at this and I look at look at this. The twos, the twos, the twos are dominating here. Okay, and three one already doesn't dominate, but already hit. So and see when you isolate, it lets you see the patterns clearer. It makes sense. Because you feel that if eight's going to win, you pair sums eight, you have to look at pair sums isolated to know what the correct pattern is. Now, I'm looking at 2-2, two, 8-2-2, two, because two, two, 8 two, 2 is dominating. The 2-2 two, is dominating. So I go to the eight pair sums right there, and I isolate the 2-2 two, two with the eight pair sums eight. With the pair sums eight, I should say. Okay, so this is eight pair sums two two. Now I isolate it. See, I get to see the patterns even more. I get to see the two pair sums. Look at single digits, all single digits, right? So that lets me know that when I start reducing my numbers here, I can reduce. Look, I can right off the bat, I could go to two pair sums and take out all these, all these, all the higher ones, right? Look at that. I already from two twenty took it down to one sixty five. Let look at zero. Zero and then zero is way down here. Really comes out. Really look at that. Really comes out. I could take out zero right now, right? Took out zero. I'm at 155. Okay. Now we haven't even hit pair sums eight and eight pair sums two two. Let's do that right now. So 64 pair sums go down. Isolate the eight pair sums, right? And eight isolate the eight. The pair sum eight, and then the eight pair sum isolate the two two, right? And we have, we're down to twenty seven numbers from two hundred and twenty numbers, and you could keep going on there, okay? So for example, look at the one two sums here. Look one two one two one two hit. You can take that out, okay? So if we take that out, look one two sums here. Take that out. We're down to 18 numbers from 220. Okay, and that's logic, logic. Okay, and these things hit. Okay, so let's go. If we take it out here now, remember, use this as a cheat sheet, okay? So if we take out one, two here from one, two, some section, what does that show us? Bam, look at that. Look what's dominating. One, one. One, one is dominating. But then look at this. Two, one hasn't come out for a long time. You think two, one's going to come out? Okay, that's up to you to decide. But one one, look out, look, look at this. So you know two one is overdue. Two one, two one, two one is about to hit. Okay, and look at this. You have one uh, two one two one. Yeah, it's all two one there. That's dumb. It hasn't hit in a long time. You could isolate one one, say it's going to hit again. But wow, look at all this. Okay, so let's go two two one two one one two three pattern two one two one. So I am gonna go to one two three pattern. We said two one two one. Yeah, two one two one. So two one two one. And we're gonna go to one two sums two one. One two sums two one. Two one. Three numbers. Holy cow. Three numbers left. You cannot beat that. All right, two one two one. Take out that. Take out that. All right, and one two three pattern. Hold on. Scroll down here. Two one. 
Can we see something else in here? Two, one, two, one. All right, so it's isolated. That's what you got. Look at that. This is what you want to have. This is what you want to have. You want to have all this. You see that? How all the patterns equal like that? That is your goal. That is your goal. That's what you want to see. Okay? So you know you've got the correct pattern. And then you look at two pair of sums. All right? Two hit. You could take out two. Two already hit there. You think it's not going to hit again? When you have that pattern, when you have that pattern. Okay, so look. Two pair of sums. Take out the two. Holy cow, we went out down to two numbers. All right, this is how you win big. This is how you win big. You get the pattern correct. Okay, you keep you keep doing this. You keep working this out. If you're playing with two numbers and you keep doing it, and you and you you, you throw like five dollars, ten dollars on this, or five dollars, uh, excuse me, five dollars on each, which is ten, or twenty dollars, whatever. And you do it straight. Hold on, you take this. Look, you grab that, and you go here. My numbers. You paste it here. You click this box for straight. It'll show you what the straight is. Twelve numbers. You could play twenty-five cents here, depending where you play, right? Twenty-five cents. Okay. Twelve times twenty-five. Three dollars to win two hundred twenty-five, depending where you go play. And you keep doing, you know, doing these patterns, and you you'll hit, you know, you'll hit these patterns. You know, you'll, you'll come um, and on days, you'll come here, you, you'll hit the pattern correctly, you know, a number of times, and you'll hit big. And even times you could even utilize this when you get it straight like this, you could continue reducing the numbers. You could come here and you could say, hey, I ate one already. Hold on a second. Let's see here. We're going with ones, sevens, and ones, okay, sixes. What do I think is going to, is overdue? You could look through here and you could say, is I think one is going to hit in the first position, right? So you could reduce it. You could go to the numbers position, reduce everything here, right? Like that. And there you go. There's just straight numbers. One, two, three, four. Okay? You have $40 with that. That's $9,000 win. That's a lot of money. Anyway, so you got the drift, right? So it, the thing is, the more you... You identify patterns, okay? Because there's patterns on top of patterns. Utilize these filters. The more filters we give you, the more you'll be able to break down these patterns. And the more patterns you identify, you weaken the lottery. And when I say you weaken the lottery, you're able to reduce the group of numbers where the winner is in. And you'll be able to grab the winner with less numbers and you're doing it logically, okay? And that is how... I caught the winner yesterday, which was the Texas. I sent out a Texas uh, win alert. Um, let me see here. Hot play alert, I should say. And I just broke it down for you how, you know, PS9 was overdue. And it came out the next draw. It came out the next draw. And I said PS9 with uh, APS21. The next draw, it hit. And uh, the winner was there. Okay, so the next hot play alert I have is a Florida with PS8 is going to repeat. All right, and just use these as a guide. I want you to do your own work. Okay, use these as a guide to know how to use utilize the filters. Do your own work and um, grab your numbers. All right, I wish you the best of luck.